Hi. So I'm back <coughs> after two months and I'm gonna try and make uh, two Xamarin videos a week uh, now because I'm sort of doing this for school. Uh, but that's probably irrelevant to you guys because you're just here for the tutorials on doing stuff. Uh, today I'll be showing you guys data persistence, specifically uh, file handling. Uh, so very basic file IO. I'll be showing you guys how to read and write to a file. So yeah, that's it. Uh, there are three main types of file handling that I would like to mention. Uh, the first is preferences, the second file I.O., and the third is databases. And obviously, preferences are just user settings for an app. They're key value pairs. Uh, they're not meant to store anything big. They shouldn't store anything big. Uh, so really, when it comes to storing stuff like objects and such, uh, you can really only use a database or file I.O., and database might a database might be overkill sometimes or just too annoying to implement uh, because file IO certainly is a lot easier than database. Uh, for example, you can literally just serialize your DTO uh, or any object to a JSON file or a JSON string and then write that to your file. Uh, but I'll get into it now. So the only thing you need for file handling or file IO in Xamarin is the path to the file. Uh, now it's not as simple as say uh, file handling on just a .NET project. Like if you had a file in here somewhere and you want to write to that, uh, because again, this is on a mobile operating system. So you need to have the folder that apps are allowed to create files in and where they're allowed to actually write to files in. So for that, you need the file path, which is the only thing you need uh, when it comes to Xamarin File IO. So since uh, different operating systems, well, basically just iOS and Android, uh, have these uh, file paths in different locations, uh, it would uh, you would need to essentially get two different string literals for that. And these file paths can often also be really unwieldy and long. So for that reason, we have been provided with this thing in the system IO namespace, uh, environment.getFolderPath. What this does is it checks your operating system. And based off that, it gets the path of the folder uh, that the files, well, where you're allowed to create and write to files in. Uh, so then, once we have the folder path, we also want to create the name of our file and combine that to give us a string. So the name of the file can be anything. Uh, this is not limited to .txt. You can also change the name to .json, which I do to inform myself or just get a better, better visualization of what I'm putting in this. Say I want, I'm deserializing an object, serializing an object and plonking it inside my file. So really, this is the only sort of big unwieldy piece of code, even though like the string literal would be even more unwieldy. But after that, all we need to do is uh, type in file here, and this is not this string over here, it's the file class that is inside the system.io namespace, and we're gonna t use the write all text method. And this completely deletes all of the text inside the file, then writes new text. So it overwrites everything. So firstly, it takes in the file path, which we have up here, and then the string to write. And that is literally it. If you want to read from a file, you write file.readAllText and give in file. And that returns the string that is inside the file. And what I do is serialize my file, uh, my objects to JSON, then just write them into the file, and then read from them. And that's really all that I have used. Uh, I would do a more in-depth video, but this is basic file I/O, and I don't, I don't really want to. But yeah, that's literally it. It's that simple. Bye, guys.